Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about damage and try explain the difference between uh, weapon power, bonus power, base damage, weapon damage spread and rolled damage. So if we check our pirating tips uh, combat 101 we can read here guns generally cause 0 to 200 percent of their base damage on any hit. Bonus power is added before any rolls. Now if we check out some of the weapons such as home front rifle we can see that weapon power is 28 and there's no bonus to the power of the weapon. So if there's a power bonus, you would be able to see it around here. Now let's check another weapon. If you look here at our lace gun, we can see that the damage depends on the ammo we are using. And again, no power bonus, but the weapon power is much higher compared to the home front rifle. Now if you look at the boarding gun, we can see that the weapon power is 44, but however we do have some power bonus here. So 0.1 times bravery of the soldier using the gun. So if our soldier has 50 bravery, it means that we would multiply his bravery, which is 50, with 0.1 and we would get 5 power bonus for this weapon. So the total power for this weapon would be 49, which is equal to base damage. So base damage is weapon power plus the power bonus. Now, if our soldier has 100 bravery, 0.1 times 100 would be 10, and our base damage for this weapon would be 54. Let's check out the sniper rifle. Now, here we can see if we are using normal ammunition, the sniper rifle power is 30, and the power bonus is 0.25 times firing of the soldier using the weapon. So, if our soldier has 100 firing, the base damage for this weapon would be 55. However, if our soldier has 140 firing, the base damage for this weapon would be 65 using normal ammo. So piercing ammo has a slightly higher damage and also ignores a bit of armor. Power bonus is not very common when it comes to regular guns. However, they're common for sniper rifles and they're common for melee weapons. So let's check out some melee weapons. Now, if you look here at our axe, base power is 50 and power bonus depends on the strength and melee skill of our soldier using the weapon. So let's say the soldier has 100 strength and 100 melee, we would be adding 80 points to weapon power, which would get us 130 base damage for the axe. Here we have one of my favorites, it's the handle. Base power is 10, power bonus for strength is 0.2 and 0.35 for bravery. So again, if our soldier has 100 bravery and 100 strength, we would be adding 55 points to the power of the weapon and get the base damage of 65. So weapons that do have power bonus can be useless for soldiers with low stats that are adding power to these weapons. However, they can be very deadly for soldiers with high skills. And you would like to give a weapon to your soldier that benefits him the most. Now here we have an interesting case. So if you look at the power bonus, it says 0.36 times stamina minus 0.001 times square stamina. So sure, we're getting our bonus here, however, we're subtracting it here. And again, here, if you look at the sun blades, the power bonus is quite high because we have 0.45 times throwing plus 0.005 times square throwing. So let's say our soldier has 100 throwing. That would mean that uh, we have base power of the weapon, which is 4, plus 45, plus 50, equals 100. Now, if our soldier has 150 throwing, that would be 4, plus 67.5, plus uh, 112.5, which equals 184. Quite a big difference. And lastly, let's check out the laser lock shotgun. So here we can see something that looks like this for most of the shotguns. So 16 times 6. This means that power of this weapon is 16. However, it shoots 6 pellets. So it's actually 6 different shots times the power of the weapon, which is 16. And here we can see that power bonus depends on the rank of our soldier. So if our soldier is a swabby, uh, his rank would be 0 and he would receive no power bonus. So the base damage would be 16. However, if we give this weapon to our pirate queen, her rank is 5, so the base damage for this weapon would be 31. Now let me show you how to check the rank of your soldiers. So you go to your hideouts, click on hands, click on sword by and choose rank. 
So here on the right side, you can actually see the rank of your soldiers. So Pirate Queen is 5, Princess is 4, Mistress is 3, Boss Gal is 2, Gal is 1, Swabby would be 0. And you can see that uh, different species have their own names for the rank, but you can still check out what's their actual rank value here. Now that we know how to calculate the base damage of the weapon, if we go back to our Combat 101, we can see here that guns generally cause 0 to 200% of their base damage. This 0 to 200 is the spread of damage for guns. Now again, generally means for most of the guns, there are some exceptions. As you can see here for explosives, it's 50 to 150, and it's same for most of the melee weapons. So again, if we check our home front rifle, which has power of 28 with no power bonuses, the base damage would be 28 and the spread would be between 0 to 56. So roll damage for this gun would be a random number between 0 and 56. And that's probably the reason why do you often see hits with no damage. If we take a look at our laser again, we can see that uh, base damage is 42 for the weaker ammo, which would make the spread uh, between 0 and 88. If we take a look at our boarding gun, we did the calculation for a soldier that has 100 bravery. The roll damage would be anywhere between 0 and 108, which is 200% of 54. So our laser lock shotgun for our queen would have a base damage uh, of 31, as we calculated before. So the roll damage would be anywhere between 0 and 62. However, if we give this gun to a swabby, there would be no power bonus and the uh, roll damage would be anywhere between 0 and 32. Now if you look here at our handle, a handle is a melee weapon, so we would apply a spread of 50 to 150 and you can actually check this for your melee weapons by clicking here on analyze and you can see here extra damage info calculation type 50 to 150 spread. We calculated before for our soldier that has 100 strength and 100 bravery, the base damage would be 65, so the damage spread would be anywhere between 32.5 to 97.5. And for our axe, using the same logic where we calculated the base damage to be 130, uh, the spread is 50 to 150%, the rolled damage would be a random number between 65 and 195. So I hope this makes sense to you. Now lastly in this video I'm going to show you how you can actually check what would be the damage spread for a weapon uh, when you're equipping your soldiers and how can you actually check this in battle. And in next video I'm going to talk about how this roll the damage is affected by armor resistance and armor value. So what's the actual damage to an enemy unit based on their armor. So again if we go to our hideout, click on hands, click on soldier info, and click on inventory. We see our soldiers, so if we hover above our weapons and press Alt, we can see damage spread for a displayed soldier and a weapon mouse pointer is above. So if you see something like that, a damage unknown, it means you still haven't researched this weapon. Now let's check out some guns. Again I can see here unknown, however if I hover above the ammunition for this weapon, so this is Euro Syndicate Lace Pistol, so that's the Euro Syndicate Lace Pistol clip. So if I press Alt here, I can still see damage spread for this weapon. Now you can't do this for melee weapons because they don't have ammo. So okay, let me find a sniper rifle. Okay, there it is, sniper rifle. As, as we've seen before, the power bonus is 0 0.25 times firing. The so look has 122 firing, and the sniper would do anywhere between 32 to 128 damage. Now obviously in this case the spread is not uh, 0 to 200, so let's check that out. So if I click here on analyze, and I scroll down, well actually I need to select the ammo here. 
I can see calculation type spread 50 to 200. And that's exactly what's being calculated here. So let me find someone this girl will do. So educated Bill has firing on 48. And the damage spread for the sniper rifle would be between 22 and 90. So you can see how skill affects the power bonus for the weapon. Now lastly, if you're already in the battle, for melee weapons, you can click Ctrl M and you would be displayed spread damage for a currently selected soldier. For ranged weapons, you would actually need to click on the, any kind of a shot and then hold Alt and you can see damage displayed 0 to 56 for a home front rifle. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this video is useful to you and if you like the content I'm making, please like and subscribe. See you soon. Take care. Bye.